Thank you, Vicky. And with human smuggling on the rise, so are the efforts to fight illicit activity along key areas of the South Texas border. Aerostatic balloons like the one hovering in the skies of the city of Pinitas are examples of technological equipment deployed by the Department of Defense to aid Homeland Security agencies in the fight to contain the border. So this is a Department of Defense reuse equipment that was actually deployed out in Afghanistan protection, protecting the, uh, the men and women and protecting this country overseas. So what better way to uh, bring this technology back into the homeland and then applying it on, on our southwest border. This is a second unmanned helium balloon in the Rio Grande Valley with plans to soon add one more in Falfurias. Cameras installed in them have a range of 5 to 10 miles and fly for several continuous days. Authorities say it has already helped seize drugs and capture smugglers, a continuous threat that is on the rise. Whether it's an aircraft with a, an EMT capable uh, uh, employee of ours, that's out there searching uh, for lost or stranded uh, or abandoned aliens, or whether it's us here trying to prevent the flow of narcotics coming into our country, this is going to give us a capability that we don't have. Identified as one of the poorest areas of the border fence, the city of Pinitas constantly experiences the flow of illicit activity. This is just the focal point for, uh, for all the traffic that's coming into the United States. We have either drugs or uh, or human smoking. The owner of these 50 acres of ranch offered his property for the betterment of his community. I think uh, if, it, if it leads to a safer community, and that'll be good for my friends and my neighbors and my family who live here. The Border Patrol chief adds that apart from the technology, about 300 new agents will soon add to the search and border protection. Reporting for Fox 2 News, I'm Oscar Morgan.